anything. Get some jokes. Say amen. Hey, I, I was looking up so many jokes today that I, I, my brain is full of them that I'm just going to be, be careful on which ones I pick, all right? I want to make you guys laugh a little bit. But before I laugh, I have to give my two counselors the dollar bills, the two dollar bills. And I thought that was really cool. Whoever did it, you don't have to raise your hand, but whoever did that last night, I heard that somebody put, maybe it was more than one person, put their two dollar bill in the offering plate last night. Now, I'm going to pray that God will bless you twofold and he'll give you a $4 bill before camp is over. So, you pray for that. All right, let's hear. I need two. I'm going to give one to Pastor Stedman this morning. He's got a great bird's eye view from the back there. But Stedman, I appreciate you taking some highway for your church to be here this week. Thank you, sir. And let's see here. Miss Natalie. Miss Natalie remembers me when I was really little growing up. So I'm going to give Miss Natalie one of the $2 bills to look for the best girl sitting up straight. Put, make sure your Bibles are open, boys and girls, on your lap. We're going to be preaching today from what book of the Bible? Second Peter. Second Peter, chapter number one. Make sure your Bible is open there real quick, okay? All right. In honor of Brother Todd. Wow, he was, he was serious. He's going to leave. You know what I should do? I should start preaching, and as soon as he comes in, they'll be the jokes. What do you think? Let's get All right, here we go. What do you call the guy with no arms and no legs under your bed? What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs in a bathtub? Dwayne. <laughs> what do you call a guy with no arms and no legs covered with glue? Elmer. Elmer, come on, guys. You need those breasts. What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs on your barbecue? Frank. You got it. Oh, I like this one here. What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs flying over a fence? Homer. Okay, that won't be good. That really won't be good. What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs underneath your car? Jack. Jack! Good job, Jack. You were waiting for that one, weren't you? Okay. Brother Steve probably went back to his cabin last night and was looking all these up so he could, like, be the smart one in the room and say, I know this joke, I know this joke. All right, what do you call a guy with no arms and no legs and a cup of coffee? Joe. Joe. Oh, that's sad that you young six-year-olds know that. No coffee for you. What do you call a guy with no arms and no legs on a stage? A light. I like that light. That's that small delayed reaction before the light bulb. No, no, no. All right, here you go, ladies. Here's a few for you. What do you call a lady with no arms and no legs between two slices of bread? Yeah. Patty. <laughs> By the way, those cheeseburgers are good back there. I appreciate Brother Wilbur Bacon. Those are awesome. What do you call a lady with no arms and no legs holding a coat? Hey. Hey. All right, one last one. Here you go. What do you call a lady with no arms and no legs who feels practically worthless? Penny. Penny. Aww. Aww. Okay, that one was one of my best ones. I like this. All right, get your Bible. Second Peter, chapter number one. We've read this a million times, but I want to get these couple verses drained in your.